Hi everyone. This week we're going to start the apical dominance experiment with the plants you've been growing at home. I've already labeled my plants. This is my control plant pot here. And as you can see, I've got it labeled for apical dominance and control. And I've numbered my plants so I can keep track of which one is which one. So this is number one. I put the plant stake on that side. And then over here, I have number two. So this is the control plant. Nothing gets done to this plant. And you should take pictures of all your plants before you start the experiment and during the experiment when you do your measurements and afterwards. And an easy way to keep track of your plants in the photos, I find, is if you take a picture of them and put the information in the picture. So here you've got apical dominance, control number one, and the date that it's taken. So that's the important part because things will change over time as you measure. All right, so for this experiment, you will need your apical dominance uh, little package here with the lanolin and hormones. So take this out of the fridge uh, about 30 minutes before you need it. I've already taken mine out prior to needing it. You'll need your razor blades and you will need the Q-tips and you will have to supply a ruler to measure the lateral buds. All right, so the control plant, we don't do anything to. Okay, so now I have the pots that I've chosen for treatment B, which is the cut and apply lanolin to the cut end of the stem. So here I've got a pot with two plants in it. You can see one looks pretty good and my other plant is a little brownish. We think it may have um, a fungal infection of some kind. So I'm gonna try and use one healthy plant and one not so good plant for each treatment, if depending on how many plants I've got. So to start, you want to take your razor blade and unwrap it. Now be careful with the razor blades because they are quite sharp. I don't want you cutting yourselves and this will be a bit hard to see. So what you wanna do is cut the stem about a centimeter above the primary node here and just like that, okay? So you can discard that tip and over here for the other plant, we will also cut about a centimeter above the primary node and then we can take that off. Okay, so now before you go any further, take your ruler, you'll have to supply your own because there isn't one in the kit and you want to measure the length of your lateral buds here. So measure this one and then measure the second one. There will be two for each plant and make sure when you record this in your um, chart that you know which plant it came from. So number one or number two. Okay, so measure both. This one has much smaller lateral buds, as you can see. So just carefully, don't damage them. Measure it with your ruler and note the, the length of each lateral bud. Once you've done that, for treatment B, we are going to apply lanolin to the cut end of the stem. So you can open up your lanolin, take one of your Q-tips, and dab it into the lanolin. Get some on your Q-tip there. And you want to take this and apply it to the cut end of the stem. So do one and then you can turn it around. You can get some more if you need it. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit is good. And you can dab it onto the cut end. Okay, and that's all there is to that. This can go in the garbage and we'll move on to the next treatment. Okay, here I have two pots for treatment C, and you'll notice I used a piece of tape on the blue tags because I find the pencil marks hard to read. So you can do whatever you want. If you can read it, fantastic. Um, the reason I have two pots for this one is because each of these pots has one that's grown a bit funny. This one doesn't have the second pr primary leaf here, so I'm not going to use that one. And this one here, also developed a bit strangely, so I'm not going to use that one. So you can see I've only labeled the one plant in each pot. So for treatment number C, 
We are also going to cut the stem about one centimeter above the primary node. So we'll start with this one and we will cut and we will discard that. And make sure, again, you measure your, make sure you measure your little lateral buds. These are quite small. So measure it and record it in your chart. The other one is easier to see on the other side. Okay, so measure that one. And then also with the second plant, same thing. You wanna cut the stem. Let me just move this so you can see. So we are going to cut this again. And be careful with the lateral buds. These are quite tall, so just be careful. And this one's rather thick. Okay, so we'll get, toss that. So again, make sure you measure the lateral buds. As you can see, this one is actually quite tall. So measure from the bottom where it, it comes out of the uh, plant stem to the very tip of the bud and then also measure that guy right there. Okay, and make sure you record them. Don't forget, record them, plant number one and plant number two. So for this one, we're going to take the 1% NAA or naphthalene acetic acid and apply it to the cut end of the stem. So just like you did with the lanolin in treatment B, you wanna take your Q-tip and just get some of that lanolin with NAA in it. It's a bit goopy. And you want to apply it to the cut end of the stem. Okay, it doesn't take a whole lot. But we'll just make sure it's on there. And then we'll get some more. And again, you want to apply it to the cut end. Okay, you know what, maybe I'll just put a little bit more on this guy. Okay. That looks pretty good. Again, this can just go in the garbage. And that's treatment C. Here we have the pot for treatment D. For treatment D, we're not going to cut the plant at all. The plant stays intact and we're just going to apply BA to the lateral buds here at the primary node. So before you apply the BA, you wanna make sure again, measure your lateral buds for both plants and make sure you record it from plant one. And then of course, do the other side and um, measure your lateral buds and then record from plant two. Okay, so now we're gonna take our 1.5 millimolar BA in lanolin. Take one of your Q-tips. And you wanna, again, as before, dab it in the BA and lanolin. And you want to carefully apply it to your lateral buds, but be gentle because you don't wanna damage them. You don't wanna accidentally um, break them off. Okay, so maybe that one is good for that. We'll take some more BA. And maybe for this one, we'll just try to, it's a bit messy. Might be hard to get it exactly on. I'm just gonna come in from behind here try to get both sides without damaging it. So maybe for that one, we'll just add a little bit extra here. It's kind of hard to get to them. Okay. All right, so try and it's a bit messy but we do the best we can okay so that's one and then we will do the same for the other side we'll turn this so you can see we'll apply some BA and then we'll get that little guy there 
Oops. Okay. All right. I think we'll call it quits with that one. Okay. And that is treatment D with BA. Here we have treatment E, which is the last treatment. And for treatment E, we are going to cut the main stem about, again, one centimeter just above the primary node. And we are going to apply NAA in lanolin to the cut end of the stem. And we are also going to apply the BA in lanolin to the, prime, uh, to the lateral buds. All right, so we will start with cutting the stem. Again, be careful, the razor blades are sharp. Okay, that's one. And we'll cut the second one. Okay. All right, so don't forget, before you apply anything, measure your lateral buds for both plants. So we'll do that plant. And this one has tinier lateral buds. Measure them. Make sure you note which plant it's from. All right. So now we'll start with the NAA. So take your NAA lanolin. Take a Q-tip. And again, this one goes on the cut end of the stem. So keep in mind, NAA, cut end of the stem. Just a bit more. Okay. And now we'll do the second plant again. These are not the best Q-tips. If you've got better Q-tips, feel free to use them. All right, so now we're gonna discard this one because we don't want it anymore. And we're done with the NA. So now we're gonna move on to BA on the lateral buds. Take a fresh Q-tip. And get some of the BA. And you want to carefully, you don't want to damage your lateral bud. Paint some of that lanolin with BA on the lateral bud. Remember to be gentle because you don't want to break them off. This one's a bit hard to do, so I think we'll just leave that one as is. Turn the plant to the other side. Okay, these are going to be a bit of a challenge because they are rather tiny. But maybe we just use that little end there trailing end of the Q-tip, we'll just Okay. Get a bit more. Okay. I think that should do. Again, you can ditch that. And that's it for the treatments. So you have to record 
your lateral bud measurements about, I think it says every three days or so, no, every three times per week. So three measurements per week. You might want, you also want to be taking pictures. So again, use your little um, pieces of paper, write down the plant, the treatment, and the date that you take the photo. And that's the easiest way to keep track of your photos. Because if you don't label your photos, you're never going to remember what you did later. All right, that's it and good luck. Okay, I almost forgot to say, for treatment E, and this is just for treatment E, you want to apply a second application of your BA in lanolin to the lateral buds on the next day. So I applied this today, I started the experiment today. Tomorrow I want to do another application of the BA in lanolin with the Q-tip to the lateral buds, and that's it. For the experiment and then you just monitor your plants for two weeks and you do about three measurements per week taking photos to document everything as you go okay so here are the plants back under the light over here i have the apical dominance plants that i just treated in previously in the video and then over here you can see i've got the five pots we just planted last week and you can see we've got some germination going on here which is fantastic and this is the one pot i only have one pot for the mature plants you might have two pots with two plants each because there was one extra pot that i had to plant but because a couple of my plants didn't develop very well i've only got the one pot with the two plants so make sure you reserve one pot of nice looking plants um, that are pretty healthy looking if you've got it and uh, reserve that for your mature plants for the leaf senescence lab.